In this video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate the Aplovin Max SDK into your Android app. So we'll start by creating an Android Studio project. Let's start with an empty activity. Then next, I'll give it a name. I'm going to call it Aplovin Ads. Okay, then I'll keep the defaults here and then click finish. Wait a few moments while the project is being created. And once it is ready, now let's log into our Uploving dashboard. And once you have reached Uploving dashboard, we are going to first set up a test device and that's the phone that we will be using to test our ads. So on the sidebar on max, scroll down until you find test mode, click it and then here click add test device. Give it a name, for this case I will be using a Pixel 2 emulator. And then here you have to enter your device advertising ID and here is how you get the advertising ID. On your phone, go to settings. Go to Google, click on it. Then you find here where it says ads. Click on that and see here this device is advertising ID is here so click copy that and then you paste it in here if you if you find on your devices you cannot copy it just copy it later by later and make sure it is actually accurate so here the network we are going to be testing is approving so select that from the list and click save once we have saved the test device now we can move on and go to the mediation docs so on your dashboard up here you can see here where it says mediation docs click on that then choose the platform you are building for in my case it's android now they see the instructions here so we have to download the latest sdk and now uh, i prefer using gradle or if you prefer using the manual method you can click on this link but this tutorial we are going to use in to use Grodo. So copy this dependency and paste it in, into your app. So in the Grodo dependencies, I'm going to add it here. So you just comment it so I can keep track of it. And after this, I will sync the project. Now, the other requirement is that your project must be using Java 8 and above. If you are not using Java 8 in your project, make sure it's here in your compile options. Have the source compatibility set to Java 8. If you look at our project uh, in our compile options, we already have Java 8, so we don't have to change anything here. But if in your project you find that you don't have Java 8, make sure that you add it. Next, we have to add the Aplovin SDK key to the metadata of our manifest. So I will copy this here and add it to the manifest. So before the closing tag of the application, paste your Aplovin SDK key. And one more thing you have to do is make sure that this SDK key matches the SDK in your account. So if you want to make sure it matches the SDK in your account, go to, to your account here, click on it and find keys. Then look at this SDK key match, make sure that it matches the one you have put in your, in your app. The next thing is if you want to enable ad review you can go through these steps but for this case we are not going to use ad review so let's move down and now we have to initialize the sdk 
So. Let's copy this code and we'll put it in our own create method. So in our main activity here on on create, we are going to put our code which we initialize the upload in SDK and we import these classes. And then the context we are going to use we are using this as the context. And then input this one also and this is done now go back to your account and then you see on app discovery then applications when we run our app for the first time it will initialize the SDK key and we have our app added to the applications that are known for our our account by uploading so when we learn our app for the first time this DK will be initialized and our app will be added here if not so we have to add the app manually and I'll show you that later so once this DK has been initialized I want to be sure that it is initialized so I will just show a toast message Okay, so now let's build and run our application. So I see the, the toast here, so that means SDK is in, in initialized. So I'm going to refresh this page. And you see our app has been added but since it is not on the in the play store we only have it by the package name but if your app is in the play store you see it by the name and the icon as in the google play So this is it about initializing the SDK and next we are going to look at how to integrate uh, all the other ad formats. Uploving provides support for banner ads, native ads, interstitial full screen ads and app open ads. So in the next video that's what we are going to look at.